Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your sixth CSS Grid tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at justifying and aligning items. Okay, so we're back to having six elements right here inside this content ID, this grid. And each element has a class of one, two, three, four, five, six, so we can style them independently. And up here you can see I've got two properties already. Grid template columns to define the number of columns, which is going to be three, and each column is going to be the same width, one fraction. I've also used the property grid auto rows to set the row height, and that's min max, so a minimum height of 100, uh, 150 pixels, and a maximum height of auto if there's content within it. So we've also got a grid gap of 10 pixels, and if we take a look at this in a browser now, we can see something like this, so a height of 150 pixels for each row, and six elements spanning over three columns and two rows. So I'd like to show you in this tutorial how we can align these elements to the different positions inside their block, if you like. So imagine each one of these is a square on the grid or rectangle or whatever you want to call it. Automatically, they're taking up the full space of each rectangle, right? Now, what if we don't want to do that? What if we want to, for example, align each of these items to the left of that rectangle, right? Or the top of that rectangle? Well, we can do that using a couple of different properties. So the first one I'm going to show you is to add those properties to the grid itself, the wrapper element. So this thing right here, and this is going to either align or justify all of the items within it, right? Rather than just one or two. So we can override them on an element by element basis. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But to begin with, let's just add these properties to control all of them. So we're going to add this to this content div right here. And the way we do this is by saying align hyphen items then I'm going to give this a property of start. And if I save this now, take a look what happens. They all go to the top of the row, right? They no longer take up the full height of the row. They're going up to the top and they're taking up just the height of the content inside it, along with the padding. All right, so that's how we align items to the top. We can also align them at the end by using the end keyword. And that's going to align them at the bottom of each row. All right, now by default, it's given the keyword stretch. We don't have to supply this, but that is what the value is without supplying one to begin with. So if I don't use align items, then it's gonna give it that value anyway. So we can also align items to the left and right, but this time it's not align items, it's justify items. So align is up and down, justify is left and right. So justify hyphen items, and then this time I'll say start. So let's see that. This time we get the content width of the element, not the whole width that stretches across the whole block. And it's at the start of each column. Again, we can use end, save that. And this time they're at the end of each column, right? And if I combine this with say start over here, then they're gonna be little squares at the start of the actual row. So at the top, but at the end of each column, right? That's pretty cool. So this is how we can align and justify all the items within the grid. But like I said, we can do this on an element by element basis. So I'm gonna comment out this stuff right here and then do it to each element individually. So we'll say element one, which has a class of one, and this is gonna have justify hyphen self start, like so. And if I take a look at this, it just targets this one element and it justifies it to the left to the start remember justify is left and right likewise I could type end and it's going to go to the end of the column all right so let's also maybe align it to the end of the row and to do that we'll say align hyphen self end like so and now we get it down here cool right so now let us move on to number two and in here I'm going to say align hyphen self and it's going to be center this time so this time not at the start or the end but it's going to align it centrally and we can see now it's going into the middle of the row all right and we'll do the same thing for justify we'll say justify hyphen self and center again this is going to put the block right in the center right there cool so let's do one more number three we'll say three and this time we'll say align self is gonna be start and also justify self is gonna be start as well. So let's save that and check it out. This time 
start at the top of the row for align self and start at the start of the column for justify self. All right. So this is how we take the content inside each one of these grid blocks or grid squares, if you like, and we can justify it to different portions of that square. So top left, top right, bottom right, bottom left, or the center, or just the top or the bottom, whichever you prefer using these couple of properties right here.